Today, we're gonna to make the Bird of Paradise from Tropical Standard by Garrett Richard and Ben Schaefer. While the book is full of great photography and stunning drinks, this might be the best looking one out of all of them. If this pinkish color drink called the Bird of Paradise looks a little bit familiar to you, it might be because the original version is from The Gentleman's Companion by Charles Baker and appears in Jeff Berry's Potions of the Caribbean as the Bird of Paradise Fizz. While the original recipe comes from The Gentleman's Companion, its origin is from the Strangers Club in Cologne, Panama, where Baker had visited at least a dozen times and had this drink. These historical references come up often in Tropical Standard, and if you were to just flip through the book to read the drink names, check the recipes, and look at the pretty pictures, you might miss out on the fact that most of these drinks are inspired by or takes on historical recipes. The original recipe, as outlined in The Gentleman's Companion and from Potions of the Caribbean, calls for three dashes of orange flower water, three teaspoons of raspberry syrup, one ounce of club soda, one ounce of heavy cream, one and a half ounces of lime juice, three ounces of gin, and one tablespoon of egg white. Tropical Standard Version calls for five drops of saline, three quarter ounces of strained lemon juice, three quarter ounces of raspberry syrup, three quarter ounces of cream syrup, half an ounce of St. George raspberry brandy, one and a half ounces of Old Raj Red Label Gin, and one and a half ounces of soda water. And while I'm just guessing, my assumption here is that Garrett swapped the lime juice for the lemon juice because in The Gentleman's Companion, while it calls for lime juice, it is noted that the original recipe uses lemon juice. I was lucky enough to attend the Tropical Standard book signing in May at Trader Vic's, and it was a great experience. A couple of the drinks from the book were served at Trader Vic's, including the Yacht Rock and the Pineapple Princess, both of which were great. I even followed up on my mission to try Trader Vic's Navy Grog after I had just had the Tropical Standard a day or two earlier, and I'm sorry to say, but there just really was no comparison. Not only were the authors there, but Julio Bermejo from Tommy's Mexican, the inventor of Tommy's Margarita, was also there. This event was right after I had made and shared the Navy Grog recipe here, and the reason I started with that drink was I had everything on hand to make that. But the Bird of Paradise was one that I put a pin in because I knew that there was a lot of prep I needed to do to make that drink. In fact, that night, I even asked Garrett what to make next, and he suggested the Bird of Paradise Ben also suggested that as they had served it at another event the night before and the people there loved it. But I came across a problem that you will as well. St. George is not making the raspberry brandy this year due to a lack of quality in the raspberry crop from last year. I confirmed this with St. George and it's unlikely you'll find a bottle and if you do come across one, you should definitely buy it. I asked Garrett for a substitution and he recommended Schlatterer Heimbergeist Raspberry Eau de Vie which I'm probably saying wrong, which should be more available to you. If you're in California, they have, or at least they had this at k &L, but basically you need to find yourself a raspberry brandy. I'm also subbing out the gin in this recipe for St. George Terroir Gin. It's not the same as what's called for in the recipe, but I couldn't get my hands on either of those other bottles in time. But before we can even make this cocktail, we need to make the two syrups. To make the raspberry syrup, you will need 250 grams of raspberries, 250 grams of white sugar, 59 grams of water, and 2.25 grams of citric acid. Now I prepped this all ahead of time and I took 250 grams of raspberries and 250 grams of sugar in a vacuum bag, and then I sealed it and put it in the fridge for 24 hours. After 24 hours passes, then strain and combine with water and citric acid. The syrup is very similar to a raspberry coulis and I have already adapted this recipe to strawberries, also delicious. To make the cream syrup, you need 250 grams of heavy cream, 250 grams of white sugar, and 14 milliliters of a 15% citric acid solution. To make the 15% acid solution, add 15 grams of citric acid to 85 grams of water. You're gonna build this in a blender, starting with your cream first. And slowly add in your sugar. And then finally, your citric acid solution. This basic citric acid cream solution hails from existing conditions. And holy shit, this is amazing. 
Uh, everyone who's come through my house in the last week, I've uh, forced to try it. And uh, anyone who doesn't like it's not allowed back. Okay, now that our prep is done, we can build this drink and you will need saline solution, strained lemon juice, raspberry syrup, cream syrup, raspberry brandy, gin, and soda water. We'll build this in a drink master tin, starting with five drops of our saline solution, three quarter ounces of a strained lemon juice, three quarter ounces of our raspberry syrup, three quarter ounces of our cream syrup, just half an ounce of the raspberry brandy, one and a half ounces of gin, and one and a half ounces of soda water into our tin. Add eight ounces of nugget or crushed ice and flash blend this for just five seconds. Add eight ounces of crushed or nugget ice to a Calms glass and then open pour. Garnish with a pineapple leaf and some raspberries. So there you go, the bird of paradise from Tropical Standard. Now if you have the book, you've seen the picture of the drink and it kind of looks like there's a cream float in there going on, but I even asked about this and that's not, it's just some separation that happened naturally when they were taking the pictures. Tell you what, I got no problem with pink drinks. So let's taste it. As I poured it in, I noticed the, the head of the drink was kind of coming out the top, just like a Ramus Gin Fizz would. And I think if you made the original version from um, Jeff Berry's book, or The Gentleman's Companion, you'd get that orange blossom water it tastes a little bit more like a Ramus Gin Fizz, but this really doesn't taste like that. And one of the things I like more about just maybe making gin fizzes this style is the ice. Um, I like a Ramus Gin Fizz, but for me, uh, since you're not putting ice in it, it's kind of a drink that just collapses within a few minutes and you need to drink it right away. Now, if you blindfolded me and you gave me this drink, I would not know what to tell you. I can taste the gin, I can taste the lemon. I'm starting to think that I've never really had a good raspberry. The raspberries for the garnish and the raspberries for the syrup are the typical Driscoli ones you find at the supermarket. And I usually don't get them. They usually don't taste very good, but when you add sugar to it, you're obviously getting uh, a different flavor out of it. But the real thing here is that raspberry brandy. This is new to me. I've never had this. I never bought raspberry brandy before. It is not sweet at all. It is dry. It is like essence of raspberry. And um, I've never gone um, wild berry picking, but that's what I imagine like a wild, raspberry tastes like something uh not sort of the mass produced ones at the grocery store but that really intense flavor you're getting there i don't know i just i'm having a really hard time explaining i've never had a drink like this and that's in a good way and the unusual thing is that cream syrup on its own is delicious i don't necessarily taste that exactly here even the raspberry syrup but it's like the sum of all the parts here going to make a really delicious and well-balanced drink it's like the perfect amount of acidity perfect amount of gin and the sweetness there is just right on. And what's funny is like when I first took like a sip of this, I thought like, well, it's really interesting, but is it gonna be a drink you wanna have over and over again? And I don't think this is like your weeknight drink. I think this is a special occasion. You go to the effort to make all those syrups. Maybe you wanna impress some guests that are coming over. What's interesting about it now is I still don't understand it. I still don't understand what I'm tasting and it makes me want more of it. So I could see in the future, you're thinking back on this drink and you're like, I want that drink right now. I want to experience that again. 
And if you're thinking, oh, he hasn't even had that much of the strength to really talk about it. Well, this is my second one. It's just the magic of television. So I really don't know what else to say. I'm kind of at a loss for words. So I'll just stop with that. So there you go. The Bird of Paradise from Tropical Standard. As for the other recipes in the book, I have a few more that I'm working on, but I will tell you, I have made the Navy Grog at least a few times now, and it is great. And if you haven't picked up the book, there's a link below for the book. And for me, it's not only lived up to the hype, it has exceeded what I thought it would be. The little details here and there in the book, they're not always brand new techniques, but the consistency of them throughout the book has already made a big impact on me and the way that I'm making drinks that are better. The authors were also super cool to talk to. I got to talk to Garrett about acid adjusting, super juice, bird of paradise, and other things I wish I could remember. And if you're into rum like I am, check out Ben's website, The Rum Reader. I'll put a link below to that as well. Like the video below, subscribe to the channel if you want to, and don't forget to salt your cocktails. See you on the next one.